Hey, this is Meredith Elliott Powell, and I just want to thank you again for joining us this morning with the Wisconsin Family Business Center. What a great event, and I hope that your breakout groups went really well. You got a chance to apply some of these tools. Well, as promised, I always like to shoot a wrap-up video, something that you've got that really just walks through the steps again that either you can watch, you can share with your team, or you can just have as an archive if you ever need to go back and reference. What we talked about today is one of my favorite subjects, what it takes to truly emerge successful from this crisis. And if you remember, it is all based in research off my newest book coming out this fall called Thrive, Turning Uncertainty to Competitive Advantage, where I studied nine companies, nine companies that were founded in the late 1700s, early 1800s, and they are still in business thriving today. And what I discovered was a formula, a strategy, a set of steps that we walked through to help you emerge successful from this crisis. Now we started with, you've got to be relentless about your vision. If you'll remember, we talked about that, um, that story with the Boy Scouts and the positive point. You have to understand where you're going and what you want your business to look like after this crisis. And it's not enough to just focus on it once and put that sheet of paper down. You need to think about it in the morning, you need to think about it at lunch, and you need to think about it before you head out of the office or to bed that night. And you need to share that vision relentlessly with your team because it is only when you are spending three times as much time invested in where you're going than you are looking at the obstacles and the challenges that you are truly going to emerge successful. Next is you've got to condition yourself for change. Remember I told you that military term, embrace the suck. So it's not the realists, it's not the pessimists or the optimists, but the realists who are going to emerge successful from this crisis. And conditioning yourself for change is all about preparing for change. Change can be your greatest opportunity if you see it coming. If you ignore it, it will bury you. And we use that tool called a skeptic. Society, competition, economics, politics, technology, industry, your customers. Simply brainstorm every 30 days. Just spend some time talking about the changes that you see happening in your marketplace. What do you see happening outside of your business? Because again, if you see change coming, it can be a great opportunity. If you ignore it, it will bury you. And when you recognize the obstacles and the challenges that you've got in front of you, it becomes a matter of solving those. And if you really wanna solve and, and emerge successful, you gotta stop thinking about competition and start thinking about collaborating. Turning competition into collaboration, that's our next strategy. And really focusing on who you can work with rather than against. I told you that story of Winston Churchill and swallowing his own pride to not only approach Franklin Delano Roosevelt, but, but uh, Joseph Stalin, because he knew that the UK could not defeat Nazi Germany all on their own. Winston Churchill understood the importance of replacing competition with collaboration. It's the same in our businesses. Once you understand your obstacles and your challenges, then you need to ask yourself, who could we work with to help us solve these problems that much faster? Maybe it's somebody else in your industry, maybe it's um, one of your vendors, but we're seeing this happen around the world right now. We saw grocery stores sharing supply chains, the oil industry working together to solve the challenges that they've got in front of them, and countries working together to find a cure for this pandemic, to discover a virus. You have to do that with your business. If you're struggling to get your sales team going, look at who's got a good handle on that. If you need more help with technology, reach out the doors and figure out who's cracked this code. Whatever problem you need, it is about getting to market faster. You're gonna do that better through collaborating. Strategy number four is about knowing your core. One of the biggest challenges you face in today's marketplace is understanding how to make decisions. How do you know what decision is right for you? Because not making any decision ensures that you go backwards, but making the wrong one ensures that you waste precious time and resources. Well, what I discovered from researching the book is companies make decisions in times of crisis by knowing their 
core, by being true to their core values, by using their core values as a litmus test, as a North Star to determine what is right for them. I told you the story of King Arthur Flower and their commitment to the core value of quality. No matter whether we were going through economic depression or you know things were invented to produce uh, flour more cheaply and quickly, they didn't go for it. They stayed true to their core. And during this pandemic, King Arthur Flower became one of the hardest flowers to come by because it was in such high demand. All right, next, we wanna secure your base really focus your time and energy and understand that growing your business is going to happen from the inside out. It can feel like you need to find new customers or chase new business in today's marketplace, but you shouldn't be doing that. You need to focus on your existing customers for a couple of reasons. Number one, they need to know you're here, you're there, and that you care about them. Look, if your customers don't hear from you, they're going to remember who shows up in the middle of the crisis. And if they don't hear from you, they'll move on to somebody else. But the moment that you call those customers, ask how they're doing, what they need, they're going to give you some real gold. And that is they're going to give you the, their exact challenges and concerns. And they're going to tell you exactly what you need to know in order to remain relevant in today's marketplace. Listen, if you aren't closing sales, it's not because people aren't buying. It's because the product and service you're selling isn't relevant. And the only way to know how to make our products and services relevant is to ask our customers. What you sold before COVID is going to be different than what you sell now. And the only way to understand what that is, is to ask your customers. All right, now we need to strengthen our team. Your greatest competitive advantage in today's marketplace is the strength of the people around you. And that's about developing your culture. And developing a strong culture is about purpose, ownership, and value. Giving something people to believe in, learning to lead through the power of the question, and adding value to your employees before you ask them to add value to your customers. And last but not least, shed fast and keep moving. How you did business in March can't be how you do business in September, won't be how you do business in December. You've got to be willing to let go of what isn't working and the courage to add what you need. I gave you a tool called a seeds, weeds, and needs to further look at that. Seeds are what you need to keep doing. Weeds are what's weighing you down and needs are what you need, but what you don't have. You put those strategies into place and you are going to emerge successful. So again, I'm Meredith Elliott Powell. For a recap of all of these, you can go to my website, valuespeaker.com, valuespeaker.com. At, at the top, you'll see a purple bar called Emerge Successful. And that lists not only these strategies, but all the other strategies um, that you're looking for. If we are not connected, I'm a big believer that if you build your network, it will change your life. Please connect with me on uh, LinkedIn. So again, thank you so much for your time this morning. It was an honor to be with you. And I look forward to working with the Wisconsin Family Business Center and all of you. Again, remember, together we can emerge successful.